hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is the first time of coming across my channel you are welcome and if you like what i do on my channel kindly check out my other videos like share comment leave your comment in the comment section below subscribe and when you do don't forget to hit the notification icon to be notified anytime i upload new videos now to today's business prayer they say is the key but i say that it is a key to every future follow me into this video to know why you should pray and pray and always pray for your children the plan of every parent is to see their children succeed in life and make them proud as parents you all know that some of us have made mistakes in the past mistakes that we are not proud of mistakes that we are not even proud of to talk about them mistakes that may affect the future of our children mistakes that we will not want our children to go through it or be affected in any way sometimes we unknowingly do things that we affect our children unknowingly do things that will affect our children in the future do you know that most of the things that some children and family are going through today are some of the mistakes of their parents their grandparents their great grandparents now you alone can separate your children from every negativity of your actions knowingly or unknowingly and the only way you can achieve it is by praying separating your children from those from those mistakes of your past separating your children from every generational cause separating your children from those things that are affecting your family but you don't want them to affect your children those things that are affecting your family because of the mistakes of your parents because of your mis because of the mistakes of your um uh, four generations so you will not want your children to also go through those things only prayer can separate your children from those things and only you can pray them out some parents will start accusing if their children are not doing well or their children are not um are not progressing well their children are not doing well you will see them accusing their enemies accusing witches and wizards accusing their unknown enemies not knowing that they are the cause of their children's predicaments now let me ask how many times have you as a parent laid hand on your children while they are asleep or why they are just playing you will just call them and say come and you would lay hand on your children how many times how many times have you prayed a serious prayer for your children not go it is well with you not you are covered with the blood of jesus not um as you are going to school, I protect you from every eyes of the enemy. Not those kind of prayer. How many times have you, from the deepest part of you, prayed for your child? As a parent, be it the father or the mother. How many times have you prayed, as in, have you said a word? You just say the word, but is a prayer to your child. Some parents, instead of them to say, God bless you, you see that they will start insulting the child. Never do where picking. Say I be. Not the way you sabi do. You can't do anything right. Do you know that those words, for you to even say it out from your mouth, telling your child that you can't do well. Nothing you can do. You cannot do anything. Once you touch something, you scatter. Once you touch something. Do you know that such words may affect the child? And when the child grows up, the child will become a never do well child. How many times have you separated your child? And you will say, my child, I separate you from any mistake that I have made. That will affect you in the future. I separate you and your future from it. I separate you and your future family from it. How many times have you made that prayer? As a parent, 
some parents out of carelessness they will just say words they will just do things to their children they will just be doing things on their own not knowing that this thing will affect the children have you heard a place in the bible that talked about the sin of the father visiting the son how many times have you sat down to pray for your children even as they are young, you pray for them and pray for their spouses, the, their future spouses. How many times? They are young. Your child is just one year. Your child is just two years or three years, 10 years, 11 years. But how many times have you spoken a word into the future of that child and their spouses? You will just look at your child and say, I wish can pick you be safe. Problem child, do you know that telling your child that the child is a problem child, you are indirectly speaking a negative word into him or her? People will say, mm, now just talk. <laughs> Not be just talk. There is power in your tongue. So instead of you to use your tongue to speak negative things about your child or negative things to your child, use it to separate your child from those unseen arrows that you have corrected in your past. Use it to separate your child from the unseen arrows your partner has corrected in the past, knowingly or unknowingly. Thank you all so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.